So MRSAT's focus during Posidonia is obviously to support our partners who are here in force and to release our groundbreaking report on the Internet of Things which uh, we'll have an Inmarsat briefing here tomorrow uh, to the press and then release the document online to the general public. It explains about digitalization in the shipping industry and the way forward and some of the advances that we see where the Internet of Things will take shipping. So, yes, most definitely reliance is the, is the big word here. We expect that the IMO will implement a more stringent, more resilient, more, more uh, comprehensive service for the safety of life of sea and obviously for the assets of seafarers around the world. We have been providing GMDSS services or GMDSS satellite services for 20 odd, odd years and we are pushing the boundaries of improving the service. We want to not only just modernize GMDSS, but also to add new features and new capabilities that will see safety of seafarers increase in, as time goes by. So for the last 20 years, obviously, we've been driving GMDSS to the highest level and meeting all of the requirements that we have to. We will continue to do that and we'll offer new services through a new service called Fleet Safety. Fleet Safety will allow all Fleet Broadband and Fleet One products in the market today to meet the, the GMDSS requirements of the future and for us also to create the new services of GMDSS for the future. So we are not only just increasing what we do today but adding more capability for the seafarer and creating a platform where the rescue coordination centres and the search and rescue community can actually use the service to improve the level of commitment to rescue those people that should be in distress or in an urgent situation. So Inmarsat, uh, as a private company, has no real voice at the IMO. It's the IMO that recognises Inmarsat's service and uh, uh, gives us the letter of uh, certificate of competence to offer those GMDSS services. Iridium has come along through the USA to the IMO and said we can offer the same services. And so therefore it's quite right, as Iridium is a private service, for them to consider this. Beidou, a Chinese equivalent, and Thuraya have also put their um, applications in to the IMO and all of those will be considered. Overall, what we're, the IMO is obviously uh, driven towards is to provide a higher level of competence and service to the seafarer out there. So there's lots of things to consider. It's not just adding a new supplier of satellite capacity. You've got to meet the stringent requirements that Inmarsat has been meeting for the last 20 odd years to ensure that when the seafarer is in distress, they get the level of uh, service that they expect. So our groundbreaking uh, report that we're about to release tomorrow will highlight that where the Internet of Things and the connectivity of digitalization on board ships is going to really expand in the, in the future. That's what we see and what, and what we, we believe the market will embrace because it will add a lot of uh, capability for return on investment to improve services and to drive efficiencies through the shipping. In terms of connecting the vessel, then that does open a vulnerability or a risk. Uh, shipping is used to risk. There's lots of risk involved in taking a ship to sea. Cyber security is a new risk, a new risk that needs to be understood. Uh, awareness is, is now growing. However, there are technical tools out there that can support uh, the, the seafarer and the shipping company. And one of those that we're introducing is called Fleet Secure. 
Currently, Fleet Secure is running on a, a, a ship in doing sea trials. We've done all of our bench testing, our alpha trials, our, our betas with the proof of concept with our partner. And we are now at the point where we're hitting the feedback from the user on board the vessel before we release the product as a general product. It is a unified threat management tool embedded within Fleet Express. Uh, again, our groundbreaking, fastest growing VSAT service from Inmarsat. And this will protect the vessel by inspecting and detecting any threats or any malware or any vulnerabilities and reporting them back to a security operations center to give visibility of what is actually going on on board the vessel. This will allow proactive measurement and response to any threats that are there because of the connectivity and the Internet of Things and the services that are provided to the vessel.